Hey everybody, welcome back to Inspired Dishes. Today I will be making a caramelized banana bread pudding. <laughs> now I made a bread pudding on my channel probably once or twice, but it was never made like this. So yeah, I just wanted to do a little spin on it. Now if you've seen that video with the French toast, the caramel with the sprinkles on it, I had a little bit of the custard left over so i pretty much saved that in the fridge so yeah that's what i said what what can i do with that and i said okay bread pudding so here's my custard now this is not going to be enough for all uh, the bread that i will be using so i will be adding in my regular whipping cream now i'm going to be using two types of bread my sweet hawaiian rolls i think i had three of those and also those are four slices of regular white so um, you want your bread to either be stale or toasted, and I actually toasted that up in the oven for about 10 or 15 minutes on 350. You just want to dry it out. And um, usually in the past, I I never I use fresh bread. I never like use stale or like toasted it. But yeah, I seen the difference when I actually followed directions. <laughs> Here are the other ingredients. Like I said, a whooping cream. I have my caramel sauce. I have that's a two ripened bananas make sure it's kind of ripe because that's where the juices come from if it's like just ripe and green still a little bit yeah that, that's not gonna work yeah <laughs> ain't no sweetness from that so yeah make sure it's kind of like beat up a little brown with little black spots and stuff and i also have my heavy whipping cream like i told you well actually not heavy but if you have heavy you can use it as well also too i have my um start chocolate cranberry like a trail mix i will actually only be using the cranberries i did and the raisins i was gonna make um, like a banana nut bread type of bread pudding but i didn't really want no nuts inside of mine so but if you want to add that to yours go right ahead i added the whipping cream but it's not as sweet even though i have the custard and it's already sweet from previously but it's, that's a lot of bread and then also too i added in that whipping cream so i also added in maple syrup to make it a little bit more sweet so yeah once you do that just go ahead and put your bread in there mix it up a little bit and i'm pretty much just gonna let that hang out um on the counter for about 10 to 15 minutes because you do want that bread to soak it up now in the past when i did make it i never used like still hard bread i used fresh bread <laughs> when the recipe actually called for still bread it was okay but for some reason well this time since i actually followed directions yeah it came out so much better y'all just let that sit there for a couple of minutes and i'll let you know what happened next Okay, so as you see, I did pretty much transfer it to a larger pan because, yeah, it just wasn't getting with all of that. So, I actually was going to use only half of the cream at first, but I was like, yeah, this is a lot of bread. So, yeah, I pretty much used that whole container. Now, I'm going to actually put my maple syrup in to make it sweet. Even though, like I said, even though it's a little sweet from the custard when I made the French toast the other time. However, let me add in more of that cream. It don't have taste like that, and I have a lot of bread, so yeah, I gotta make that sweet. So yeah, I added in more of the maple um syrup. Okay, now people you you usually use raisins inside of their bread pudding, which I love. So I'm gonna be using the raisins and also the cranberries. However, they also put theirs in like hot water in order to make it like I guess rise up or something, plumped or something. However, I'm I'm not gonna do all that. <laughs> you feel me? that's not the start of the show i'm I'm not gonna do all that y'all i'm just gonna throw my right inside of there and it is what it is but if you want to you know take that extra step to make yours all plump you can do so but yeah i'm not gonna do that i just i'm just gonna throw my right up in there y'all get it right right at the trail mix <laughs> and throw it right up in there okay so yeah i'm gonna make it in a muffin tin i was gonna actually just make a regular loaf but i'm like do i even have a pan for that i did find a pan but later on i actually seen this tin so i said okay i'll make it into like a muffin type of thing so yeah also too you want to pretty much butter the butter the pan in order for it to come out easily however i, I use my spray and it's a little messy out <laughs> but if you don't have spray you can use butter so yeah, I'm just gonna put a, a um some of my filling inside of there, and then I'm pretty much gonna top it with the bananas. Now this is where the bananas come in, at, y'all. I'm gonna use it two ways. First, I'm gonna use regular slice of bananas, probably like two or three 
um in on each one and then i'm gonna top the rest with more of that filling and yeah but at the end i'll let you know i ain't gonna tell you right now but i'm gonna let you know what i'm gonna do with the other banana it's gonna be good y'all <laughs> I put that in the oven on 350 and pretty much let that cook for one hour. Yes, y'all. Yes. Now, wait, y'all, because we ain't finished, y'all. When I say this, that looks so golden brown, <laughs> yes, y'all. It, it do look a little bit like chocolate chips instead of raisins. <laughs> but, yeah, it, it was still good, y'all. Okay, now, while that's pretty much cooling, I don't took it out the oven. Now, it's cooling. So, we're about to get started on the other part of our bananas yes y'all now you know how in jamaica style when you they fry they um planters well yeah i'm about to fry up some bananas y'all and i'm gonna place it on the top of it yes y'all yes so with your other banana you want to pretty much you just want to cut it in half and fry it it don't take that long at all so pretty much fry, fry it then flip it over Okay, okay, now, I know y'all see how brown that is, yes, y'all, <laughs> yes, 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 now, I don't gotta be planted in order for it to be, you know, tasting good, however, now, planters are a little bit more sturdier, and yeah, that was a little flimsy, but it was still good, and on point, y'all, it, it was good, y'all. Now I had to fry some more bananas, y'all. <laughs> Cause yeah, the first batch, um, I think the um bread pudding was still cooking, so I didn't want it to be so cold. So I pretty much ate that with. If you seen that recipe when I made the oxtail salad, I actually had oxtail left over, and I had some rice, as I will explain later on. I will um eat it with my rice, and I fried up me some of those bananas. When I say <laughs> Jamaican style, y'all. <laughs> Jamaican good okay <laughs> it, it was so good y'all so yeah I had to fry out some old bananas because yeah I, I used that for that part <laughs> okay so now our fr fried bananas are out of the grease now we pretty much we're ready to lay on our bread pudding now we wanted that to cool down and the reason being is because yes we're gonna put on some vanilla ice cream now if it's too hot the bread pudding that's gonna pretty much melt it did melt but it didn't melt off rip <laughs> if it's real hot it's gonna melt off rip so yeah yeah, so just put you some ice cream on and i don't want to put ice cream on all of them because i'm not gonna eat all of them right now but yes, go ahead and put you on some ice cream, and I'll show you what we're going to do with the caramel. I'm pretty sure you can already guess what we're going to do with the caramel sauce. Yes, we're going to drizzle it. <laughs> now, I know some people say, uh-uh, come on now. This is too sweet. <laughs> she don't put maple syrup in a batter. She don't got ice cream. She, she got caramel sauce. Hold up, hold up. <laughs> hold up, y'all. Don't, don't, don't come for me. If you want to, you can sprinkle a little salt, like, you know, salted caramel, but as far as me, um, I didn't put no salt in mine, and I probably should in my sweets. However, it was not as, as sweet as I thought it would be. Uh, I'm pretty much laying it on my bananas, my fried bananas. So I have the baked bananas inside, and now I have the fried bananas on the outside. Oh my goodness, like, just looking at this made me want to get some more right now. <laughs> yes, y'all, yes. <laughs> also too i was wondering why my bread pudding kind of like fell if you look at it it's kind of like a little like it's a little dented now i realized when i was looking at somebody recipe i think they were trying to make a cake but they pretty much was saying like if you keep opening up the oven your cake is gonna fall now i don't have a cake however that cuts uh, that just comes with baking so yeah i pretty much learned the lesson now so yeah i won't be doing that again if i can help it hey everybody how y'all doing I'm about to Test, test it. Now, hopefully, it's not too dark. Um, try to take, take, take it out like this. 
I want you to pan because really I'm the only one be quality eating it. But still I didn't want to you know eat it. It's you know even though I did yesterday, but still. You try to check me out? <laughs> I probably should have got a spoon. Uh, you know, you can put nuts, like make a uh, nut bread, but with the twist, make it banana bread, but I didn't want no nuts in my food, really. Now, that bread pudding got a little bit of that crunchy factor. And I know some people say, bread pudding ain't supposed to be crunchy. When I dried out the bread, I put it in the oven to pretty much make like toast. So I can taste a little bit of that crispiness, then the ice cream, then the caramel, then the bananas. But I didn't fry it too. Mm mm mm. When I say this is a good dessert, I ain't never make it like this is good, man. Mm -mm -mm. To rate it, it's a 10. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> it's dynamite. <laughs> no, but it's good. Like, really, really good, y'all. I know it's like a lot of calories and different things like that, but just don't eat too much y'all <laughs> i have bananas and i didn't want to go bad like the darker they are the sweeter they are so that's good so i don't want them to go bad so usually i like, went a bananas like that don't don't throw them away use them in a dessert so i pretty much fried up some to if you see my recipe i just dropped the other day uh, with the oxtail salad i had oxtail left over so i had some rice i found some rice i made that and then i had fried up with some bananas and I said that was so good. I think that, was, that almost beat the salad. <laughs> if you seen the left, leftover cluster, and I made what I made French toast. So I pretty much had the leftover. So yeah, this is good. I give it a ten all day. Don't play with tape. Okay. Yeah, let's say.